All right, so we are going to give the SpongeBob SquarePants order up a go. So it's basically whack-a-mole, but it's SpongeBob theme with um, was it uh, burgers? So it's like uh, pretty cool. It's pretty rare. I don't uh, see this too often. I've actually never played this. Um, I've seen this a few times. This is at the uh, Chuck E. Cheese in uh, Costa Mesa, California. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's super rare, but um, it is not near me. So I believe you get like uh, 30 seconds or so, and. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. And uh, I think you get like 10 points per uh, burger. And uh, yeah, so we got 250 points. So that is the high score. Uh, let's see how many tickets we get. Uh, we got, uh, I think you get like one ticket per hit. Uh, nope, wait. Yeah, we just got uh, 27, which doesn't really correspond to anything. And uh, we're gonna give it another go. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So I have a lot of credits uh, on this. Yeah, so it's at eight seconds now. Pretty cool. This, uh, this game's a workout. All right, so uh, that was that time. Uh, I didn't realize it was going, so. So, uh, go. All right, so I'm gonna give it to my friend to uh, give it a go. Um, I didn't realize that, uh, was it, uh, the game was uh, going um, because the tickets were counting, but I actually had uh, put on uh, quite a few uh, credits. So, um, it was, uh, Still going as we were, uh, you know, checking on the uh, card. So uh, we have like uh, nine seconds left, and um, I think some of them are, uh, you know, busted because uh, yeah, that one's not going up at all. And my friend's hitting it. Um, yeah, so I think a few of them might have been uh, might be broken. Um, I actually did try to play this once at like uh, one of the locations near me, but uh, unfortunately, it was not uh, it's not working. So yeah, we have like seven credits on this, and um, we're just gonna. Uh, we're probably gonna put like uh, like 20 plays on this or so because I want to get like a really uh, nice video on this. You know, basically uh, show how this game works. Um, I think there's a couple videos on YouTube where it's like, you know, one or two games, but uh, oh, this is a pretty cool game. All right, I'll get to go. So we have, yeah, we have eight credits, yeah. So the uh, game's actually going, oh. Yeah, so this one's kind of broken. The uh, my uh, the bottom bottom right broken. Yeah, that one's not doing anything, but it's all good. Yeah, this is a nice workout. Also, it's hot, and I'm wearing a sweater. Oh, there you go. That's, so basically, um, if the uh, yeah, if you get the last one, if you get one of the ones on the on the right, then you're uh, you're you're uh, out of luck. So we've got uh, 260 points for a high score. So yeah, basically hope that uh, you don't get too many on the bottom right. Um, we have 11 credits. Pretty cool. It's a really good workout for my one arm. Yeah, so this one's broken. Yeah, that's another work. But overall, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we only got like 170 that time because, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, unfortunately we got a lot on the uh, bottom right. Yeah, that one doesn't do anything. But overall, this is a pretty cool game. Like, uh, um, it's a lot of fun. Like, you don't, uh, you don't see uh, this game too much, at least not near me. Um, and I like the theme, you know, SpongeBob's always fun. Uh, I do think it's a pretty uh, nice classic game, and uh, it should definitely be played more. All right, yeah, that time we only got like one, uh, 160. All right, so my friends can give it a try. Yeah, so you get like, what, uh, 28 seconds, or maybe, I think it's 30, but, um, Yeah, you're getting a lot of points like that. So if one uh, glitches out, then you get a lot. And that one doesn't work. The one on the bottom right doesn't work, so just don't don't worry about that one. Oh, you, I think you, yeah, you just got high score. Awesome. 
All right, that was really good. So we're gonna uh, pause real quick and we're gonna be right back. All right, so we're back and uh, we're gonna play some more. Uh, Got to uh, tend to some matters. But yeah, this is, a, this is pretty cool. Um, it's got a nice, uh, fun, whimsical vibe to it. You know, whack-a-mole, but with uh, rabbit patties. And we're just gonna keep on uh, getting those burgers. So I think what uh, we really want is to uh, get something to just like stay up and uh, hit a bunch of times. Like, I think that's how we were able to get like our high score. But uh, yeah, that time we got like what, 170. So uh, uh, didn't say the uh, amount of tickets we got, but uh, that doesn't work. But, So this thing's on a string and actually uh, sometimes it gets caught up. Like you're trying to like move it really fast. All right, so we got 280, so that's actually the, oh no, we got more than that. We got 350? Wow, that's really cool. So that's a new high score. I don't know what it takes to get a new high score. Now I'm gonna try it without the, uh, yeah, we got 15 credits. But I'm gonna try it without, uh, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, you have to like hit it pretty hard. But this doesn't work. Like, my score's not going up at all. So yeah, using your hands doesn't work. I think you have to hit like you know, nice and flat. It actually gets uh, really tiring. But I really want to showcase this game because it's really cool. I mean, everyone loves SpongeBob. Who doesn't love SpongeBob? Got a nice classic vibe to it, and it's really cool. All right, so we have 14 uh, plays left. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna do all of them. We're gonna let some of the plays expire, but um, yeah, this is uh, a a uh, pretty big workout. A pretty good workout, rather. Can we talk? Yeah. Don't worry about the bottom one. That one didn't work. Get hard. Uh, rotate the spatula. Yeah. Have it, yeah, like that way. I think it's easier that way. That one doesn't work. Alright. How many more times do you want to go? Yeah. Let's just do it like three more times. Yeah, it's definitely a workout. Again, this is uh SpongeBob Square Pants Order Up, aka the SpongeBob Whack Mole Game. And this is at Costa Mesa, California. Alright, that time we got 170. So, uh, let's go again. I think, uh, what was it, Wax Clown is a little more interesting because Wax Clown uh, has like some like, uh, what's it called, like some red clowns that you can't hit. This one you just hit everything. So like, you can kind of just like, you know, not strategize. And I like games with a little more strategy and a little skill. This is just kind of like, you know, random hitting, but it is still pretty fun. And I really like the theme. Um, you get to like, what, you know, pretend you're SpongeBob. It's pretty cool. Uh, very tiring. Alright, that time we got uh, 290. 
but we have more time. I thought it was done. Nope, now it's over. 4.30. So we just got another high score. Um, that was like, what, 24 tickets? That's actually really good for SpongeBob. Uh, that's a really good game. Um, apparently, it's something, uh, it says like full combo up there. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, then again, I've never really seen anyone play this like a lot. Um, I've only seen this at like a few places like uh, Chuck E. Cheese, uh, Peter Bar Pizza, which is actually also owned by Chuck E. Cheese, and then uh, uh, it's called uh, uh, John's Incredible as well. And I think maybe Jake's Unlimited in Arizona. I think what it is is that there's a, if I get a combo of five, then uh, yeah, then I can hit it a bunch of times. So basically I have to hope that uh, I can get five in a row and then the sixth one will not be this bottom one. Yeah, because it just went down. Um, so hopefully I can get six in a row and not be uh, the one in the uh, bottom right corner because that one's broken. Yeah, so that is, uh, so you can see it goes uh, off by one and if I miss it goes down. So yeah, that's what the full time was all about. You have to get uh, a whole bunch of them, this one doesn't work. So that can uh, really mess you up. You basically have to hope that you get six in a row that aren't uh, this one. So um, that definitely takes a lot of luck. Um, like I can't control the fact that that just went down. Three, four, yeah. Yeah, there's a full combo right there. And then I can hit it a bunch of times. That's how it works. Okay, so now I figured out this game. But unfortunately, because the uh, one on the bottom right is broken, it is um, a bit of luck, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because when you miss it, it resets. But um, you know, we've, uh, we've been doing really well. And I noticed that the high score goes down every time you miss it, so uh, I'm not sure like you get something for beating the high score, if there's like a, some sort of a jackpot. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, there's the uh, full combo, and I get a bunch of points for uh, hitting the uh, uh, burger over and over again. So that's how you play this game. Pretty cool. Um, so actually, uh, the fact that there is like some sort of like uh, jackpot or something to go for makes it pretty interesting. I was wondering like why the game was stopping, but now I understand. Um, you have to get uh, five in a row to get that uh, combo bonus, and then you can do like rapid fire on the uh, what's called uh, on the burgers, and then you're uh, you're good to go. Yeah, that's really cool. I don't think anyone's ever done like a tutorial on this game before. But then again, it is a somewhat rare game. Alright, I just got uh, 300 uh, points and a bunch of tickets. And uh, I think we're gonna, you know, cut it there. We did play a lot of games, so Again, this is the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants order up game. It's basically uh, SpongeBob Whack-A-Mole. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again next time.